to use the sleeve kit. The reason why I chose the sleeve kit is because I wanted to try something new that I have never tried before. A forensic tool run entirely in the command line interface. Now let's get started. As you can see, I already added rcu.001 into the bin folder in the sleeve kit. Above are all the commands that can be run. We will start off with MMLS. MMLS tells us information about the disk by using its MBR. As you can see, there is no output, meaning that sector 0 doesn't contain the MBR. We will now use the command F step which will tell us information about the partition based on its volume book record. As you can see, there's output even though the sector offset is 0. This tells us that the volume book record is located at sector 0 of RCU.001, which means that for some reason the police headquarters decided to only hand over one partition of Warner Seal's hard laptop or desktop's hard disk. It could be that Warner Seal damaged this hard disk purposely in an attempt to destroy evidence, or that the police only found this partition to be of use and relevant. The next command I will be demonstrating is FLS. This command outputs folders and files into the root in the root directory of the file system. It's useful, it's useful as it omits the need for this reconstruction. Below shows the side-by-side -side comparison of the reconstructed hard disk and the output of the FLS command. As you can see, they are very similar. The next command, TSK get times, is useful as it helps us with timeline analysis. Files are sorted based on their creation date time. Modified access and deleted date time are also listed here. However, it is displayed as hex and we need to use a software such as Decode to convert it to human readable format, Unicode. So this is one disadvantage of a CRI forensic tool. The last command I will be demonstrating is TSK Recover. This command, no doubt, is the most useful of them all, in my opinion, as it is able to retrieve unallocated aka deleted files and located files in the partition RCU.001. As you can see, in my C drive there is no folder called Files Recover. However, by running this command, I will extract all files and folders in RCU.001 into the specified location called files recovered folder in the C drive. As you can see, all the files have been successfully extracted and we can view them here. In conclusion, the Steel Kit is a forensic tool capable of assisting in investigation by being able to output information about the partition, display date times of files for timeline analysis, and also help recover deleted and non-deleted files. However, I wouldn't recommend it as there are better forensic tools out there that, you, that have GUI such as the Topsy, which is the GUI version of the Steel Kit. High-level high forensic tools such as the Topsy are even capable of generating reports and create timeline graphs. With that, I end my video demonstration on the functionality of the Steel Kit. Thank you for watching.